Good afternoon. A multi-million pound deal to create dozens of new council flats and houses in Canterbury had to be undertaken in virtual secrecy so they weren't outbid by London boroughs trying to accommodate their residents. Today, Canterbury Council has unveiled the £23 million scheme, which has seen former student accommodation turned into homes for people in the city. Peter Whittlesey reports. With more than 2,400 households on the waiting list for social housing and an overspend of hundreds of thousands of pounds on temporary accommodation, Canterbury City Council, like many local authorities in the southeast, is in the grip of a housing crisis. Last time it tried to buy housing for local people, it was outbid by a London borough who bought former army quarters at the city's Howe Barracks. This time Canterbury City Council entered into a private negotiation to purchase former student houses to secure a deal. We've had to keep this one under wraps. We were quite worried that we might get gazumped by another borough, perhaps from London, uh, with deeper pockets. Did you have to overpay for this so you weren't outbid? No, I don't think so. We've, we've run the, our financial models on it. We're very confident that these will uh, you know, wash their face. The cost of the 44 properties was £23 million. Council says it's going to convert them into 63 self-contained units and says it's this type of innovative thinking that local authorities have to do to meet housing needs. Well, it's a combination of uh, using money that we've earned from selling right-to-buy properties, ironically. Uh, we've borrowed some money, around £9 million, pounds, um, and uh, we've used other methods of, of putting the, the sums together. So it's you know, a complicated financial deal, but it's the kind of thing that councils do these days, and we're prepared to do that to make sure that we can give this kind of property to local people. And local people will be moving in within the coming months. Peter Whittlesey, BBC South East Today, Canterbury.